Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. Today is October the 2nd, 2018, and I wanted to show you today how to collect seeds off of your rose mallows. The, now these are also known as hardy hibiscuses. So I'm going to show you here real quick. So, on this stalk here, this here is your bud coming for a flower, and this here is one of your seed pods developing. And then over here, one moment here, here's one of your seed pods that's starting to develop, but it's not quite ripe yet. So this one here, it's opened up, it turned brown. You can see some of the seeds in there, so I'm gonna be actually taking this off here. Just gonna snap it off here if I can. Okay, that's on there. Okay, I'm gonna have to go get my pruners. Okay, so I did get the seed pot off. And I have my little dish down here, and I'm just gonna break this open more here. You can see the seeds are falling out there. It's open here. And you can see the little like cavities where all the seeds are stuck in here. Now they're stuck way in there so I'm going to have to get all the mountain tissues in my nail here to get them out of the seed cavities here. And that's enough of them for now. There's still actually more in there. I just want to show you what these look like. So this one here is a good seed. Because this one here is fully developed. And then what you can do with these is put them in an envelope. Label your envelope for what it is. And I normally store my seeds in the refrigerator. So I will be putting these in an envelope. And I'll label it, put them in a Ziploc bag. Make sure it's sealed, there's no holes in it. And then um, I will be putting them, the seeds in the refrigerator. So, and this is a perennial here. This hardy hibiscus is a perennial. Um, I'm in Pennsylvania in zone 5B and it does come back for me. Um, it has actually reseeded itself already in my flower bed and I have I think like two more plants now from the original one that I started from seed. So um, to get new plants now, um, if you have uh, like a hybrid it will not see true, so um, you, I have no clue what you would get if you would replant the seeds. It would be some kind of hardy hibiscus. So um, I just want to tell you that in case you plant seeds from a hybrid and it doesn't look the same. And also they can cross. Now this one here is pretty far away from all the other ones. The other ones are in my mom's flower bed. So, this one here did see true for me when I planted it. So, these will be actually ready to plant them. And the reason why I keep my seeds in the refrigerator is, well, for one thing, being that this is a perennial, it needs that cold snap to the seeds to help it break dormancy. And another reason is it helps my seeds to actually last longer. So um, they'll last for more years if properly stored in the refrigerator than if you just store them like in a shoebox in a dark, cool place. Because heat can, um, it can impact the germination rate of your seed packets. That's why like um, 
and that's why it bothers me somewhere like to a store or something and they have their seeds sitting their seed pack sitting outside right in the sun because that's really going to impact the germination rate of those seeds even though some seeds do need light to germinate and they do need heat to germinate um, they need to be like planted in the seed starting mix or the soil or the ground depending on what type of seed it is for it to properly germinate come up and work and um, you can actually germinate these in a paper towel and then plant them as soon as you see them starting to sprout so that's another option for these so that's how I collect seeds and store them for hardy hibiscuses and rose mallows which they're the same thing so if you like my video please like comment subscribe if you have any questions you can leave them below and I'll try and answer them for you please don't forget to hit that little notification button I'll tell you when I put a new video on thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day Bye.